Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Adelina and I make videos about living in this tiny house on wheels and living a more intentional life. It's a rainy weekend day. My uh, son's coming over, so I'm gonna make my instant pot lasagna soup. The recipe is down below in the show notes, but it's a recipe I have on my channel already. And some cheese buns. So uh, I'm gonna use the same dough recipe that I use and we're just gonna adapt it and make cheese buns. I think this recipe is amazing and I think it will change your life. If you're vegan and you miss cheese bread, cheese buns, all of those things, this is the recipe for you. It's fantastic. Um, so let me show you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you the ingredients and then I'm gonna get started making the dough so we can get that proofing for its first rise. For our cheese buns, we're gonna start with my basic dough. I have a recipe in the uh, plant-based recipes playlist i think it was one of my first recipes for how i make my bread so we're going to use that basic dough which is basically flour uh, this is bread flour so it's a little bit finer some olive oil one packet of quick rise yeast and a sweetener of choice i'm going to use maple syrup you could use agave as well and uh, i'm using my stand mixer with my dough hook because i have it and that's one of the reasons i bought it and then for the cheese part we're going to go with the dea cutting board cheddar. I like this because it melts well. The Violife works as well. Um, it doesn't might melt quite as well, but it's got a nice cheddar-y, a sharp flavor, so you can use that as well. So the Dea cheddar. Oops. Stand up. Some nutritional yeast, also called nooch. A little bit of salt. There's going to be a little bit of salt in there as well. And then some butter. Melter, and I'm using these buttery sticks for melt. You can use the um, Earth Island, I think, as well whatever, base cell has some, whatever plant-based butter or margarine that you have. Uh, I'm gonna bake mine in these, this giant muffin tins, and then there'll be a little extra because I'm gonna make eight in there. That's what you need. So let's get started making our cheese buns. The first thing we wanna do is to get our yeast activated. There's my scissors. So I've got a cup and a half here of warm water, not hot. But warm. I'm not going to tell you what temperature it is, um, just warm. Feel it with your finger because if it's too hot, like it can't be boiling hot because then it will kill the yeast. So you want it warm and then you're going to put a tablespoon of some sort of sweetener, agave. I'm using maple syrup. Just give the yeast something to chew on. So I'm going to eyeball that roughly a tablespoon. And then let's just give it a little stir. And we're gonna leave that alone to start to bloom. And in the meantime, take out about two tablespoons, a half a stick of your margarine, your vegan butter, and just set it aside because we want that to be room temperature when we need it. So in the meantime, I'm going to put in here four cups of flour. I like to mix my flour into a separate bowl and then sort of spoon it in here versus taking measuring cups and trying to get it in there while it's doing its thing. So I need four cups. This always makes a mess. Always. No matter how hard I try. So I didn't used to use bread flour when I made my bread. Uh, but I, you know, would see recipes all the time that call for bread flour. And then I did a little reading and realized that it's finer and gives a lighter crumb, more uh, delicate crumb to your bread. So I've started using bread flour. Um, I don't know that I would make this with whole wheat flour, but I suppose you could add, you know, three cups of white and one cup of whole wheat if you wanted it. You just might have to add more moisture, more water, um, or cook it longer. And then to your bowl of flour, mix in one and a half teaspoons, no, yeah, one and a half teaspoons of salt. So that is one and a half. And then just give it a little whisk to make sure that it's, the salt is incorporated in there. And then I'll just have a spoon ready, mm, not that one. I'll just have a spoon ready for for that. So that's done. 
And then for your cheese, let's just get that mixture sorted out. Um, you're going to want two cups of a grated plant-based cheddar. I used to love cheese buns when I was just vegetarian and obviously before I was even that. Um, cheese bread, cheese buns, just loved it all. So, whoops. So just two cups, two big handfuls. There's barely any left in this package. So I'm going to use it all. So two cups-ish. And to that, I want to add one quarter cup of nutritional yeast. Now, if you don't know what nooch is, I've explained it many times. Maybe you're new to plant-based cooking, vegan eating, uh, vegan lifestyle. Nooch is nutritional yeast. Now, this is not the same yeast that we're using to make the bread. This is deactivated yeast, and it's really high in B12, and it gives a real cheesy umami flavor to vegan dishes, or any dish. So, I want a quarter cup of this. You can buy this. I buy mine at the Bulk Barn, but you can buy it. So you can buy it at bulk stores usually. You can also buy it online or even in most usual grocery stores because um, Bob's Red Mill brand, they carry it, that sort of thing. Okay, and then I want a half a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm just going to, with my hands, which are clean, just sort of blend that all together. So you're coating all of the cheese shreds with the nooch and the salt and that sort of stuff. Awesome. Now we'll set that aside and you can see that our yeast has got all nice and foamy. All the bacterias have done their little farty things and made the yeast activate. I know that's gross, but that's basically what it is. Uh, so whatever. Anyways, so now we're gonna pour that into the bowl of our mixer. If you were do, kneading this by hand, just pour it into a big bowl that you will be kneading in. Now to this, I'm going to add the two tablespoons of oil. I'm going to use olive oil, but just use any light tasting oil. I don't like to add this in while the yeast is activating. I like to put this in after, but before I put my flour in. Okay, and now just stir that around here. Okay, so now I'm, what I'm gonna do is start adding in my flour into my mixing bowl, and we're gonna get this thing going. I love these KitchenAid stand mixers. Mine comes with this shield, which is really nice because it's got this little uh, spout here that I can spoon my flour into while it's doing its thing. So lock it down and just put it on a, okay, so lock it down and just put it on like a, a low for now until we get all of the flour incorporated. Be patient. You, want, you don't want to dump this in all at once. You want to give it time to sort of blend each spoonful. Now, once I've got all the flour in there, I'm going to set this to about a medium. I'll just stop it so I can talk. I'm going to set this to about a medium. Look at my clock and, and set the timer or set a timer for 10 minutes. We want this to knead for 10 minutes. If you're kneading it by hand, you're going to have to knead it for 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. I don't know if you can hear how hard the rain is pouring outside, but it's pouring pretty darn hard. Okay, so this is done. It's been kneading for 10 minutes. So now I'm just gonna get it off here. And going to do here's the dough 
What we're going to do is cover it with a damp towel and let it rise for 20 minutes. So I'll see you back here in 20 minutes. It's risen for 20 minutes. Now this is not going to rise as much as the traditional bread recipe that I usually make. Um, we're only going to let it rise for 20 minutes. So there it is. It's risen a bit. Now on a clean surface, I'm just going to put a little flour down and we're going to get this out of the bowl. Whoops. Don't want butter on my fingers. want flour on my fingers. There we go. Now what I want to do is knead this a bit to get the air bubbles out. And then we are going to roll it out. So just want to do that, get the air bubbles out. You can hear them popping. Roll it out into a rectangle. Probably about, I don't know, 10 by 20 ish. You decide. Try and get it fairly square ish. And now I'm going to take half of this butter or two thirds of it and I'm going to smear it on there. And this is softened vegan butter. I would say use your fingers and get it on the whole surface, making sure to get to the ends. So about a tablespoon ish. But this is what will make the cheese stick. It will help the cheese melt. So you really want to get to the edges of your dough. So what I've done is I've taken out a quarter cup of that cheese mixture and I've put it aside because that's going on the top. The rest of this cheese mixture we want to spread evenly across here. Making sure you get to the ends because we're going to be using all of the dough but a nice level sort of layer because this is the good stuff. Now press this in because we want it to stick when we're rolling it. We don't want it to just sort of fall off. So now we want to roll this up and I think it just works better if you sort of lift it up and pull. Now, you can divide these up into as many as you want. I like to do eight because I like big ones, which sounds dirty, but it's not. So I'll just do half, half, Now, we're going to put those in our, I'm going to use, like I say, this silicone muffin, uh, extra large muffin liner. So I'm going to put them sort of upside down so the seam is pointed down.
there. So now we cover it again with that damp towel and we're going to let this rise for 20 minutes. Um, I have just turned my oven on. I'm going to preheat, preheat it to 375. I'm going to set this tray beside the oven so it's a warm spot and we're going to let this rise again for 20 minutes. All right, so now what we're going to do is make the topping. So I've got that quarter cup of the cheese mixture that I have here. Uh, whoops, I've got that last uh, tablespoon of butter and I'm just going to add a little bit of plant-based milk. About, I guess, a tablespoon as well. Now we're going to microwave that 30 second in increments and until it's melted and then I'm going to spoon it on over top. Don't forget to preheat your oven to 375 Fahrenheit. So I've got that melted. It took about 45 seconds. Now I'm going to spoon this over the buns. And now we're going to put it in the oven for 35 minutes to start and then see how they're doing and then five minute in five minute increments until they're done until they're browned um, it will really depend on your oven and your altitude so i'm going to start with 35 minutes i'm guessing it'll take about 45 minutes and i'll see you back when they're out okay they're done Don't those look good? I'm telling you guys, these are amazing. They are soft and delicious and just perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect little cheese buns. Now, I don't, <laughs> I should let this cool off. I'm going to let this cool off. Yes, I'm going to let this cool off. Look at that. That is so, hmm, smells so good. So I'm going to just tear this open. Hmm, my tops will be nice and crispy. The bun part is beautiful, soft, and that cheese is amazing. Mm. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is a game changer. If you love cheese buns, cheesy bread, you could bake this into a couple of loaves that you let rise in a regular loaf pan and then sliced. This satisfies all of those <laughs> cravings that you had and those memories that you have of those things before you went vegan, before you stopped eating any animal products. Guys, give this a try. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. It is delicious. It was super easy to make. There's very little hands on time, especially if you're using the stand mixer like I do. But even if, even if you're kneading it by hand, all the work is at the very beginning when you're kneading it for the 10 minutes. Otherwise, you're just letting it rise, rolling it out, and then putting the cheese on it. It's so good. I hope you try it. Let me know if you do because I really want to know what you guys think of this. I think this is one of my favorite recipes ever. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're staying safe. Remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. I love you and I'll see you next time.